Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to eLearning Portal. Today we will learn how to encrypt and decrypt data in C Sharp. So the basic advantage of doing encryption is that we want to hide data from others. So we do encryption. In this tutorial I will copy and paste the code to save the time and uh, you will get that code from the description given down below. Let's start doing. We will create a new project here windows form application and uh, we will name it encryption demo okay so it has created a project for us in this project we will drop some tools we will use a text box a label control and uh, two buttons basically I will drop bu one button and will make a copy of it by pressing control key and dragging the button down it creates a copy of that control similarly we can do it for uh, for our text box also you can do it also by doing control C and control V to make a copy of any control We will arrange a little bit this is encrypt data and this is the second one label will be decrypted data. So also rename the text boxes txt encrypt data and the second text box will be text txt decrypt data rename the buttons also when we uh, click on the button encrypt data it would take data from this first text box that is encrypt data text box and will convert in it into encrypted form so I'm uh, going to copy the code of encryption I will leave it leave this code in the description given down below and you can copy that code from there some name spaces are to be added okay now this code is ready to use this is your encryption key you can write anything here here you are going to define your own key okay so we will use this function to encrypt our data uh, encrypted is equal to I am going to use this function encrypt and going to pass it takes a parameter in string so we will pass text encrypt data dot text dot to string we will pass that text box input to this function and this function will uh, do the encryption and store the encrypted data in this string where type variable Let's run the project. Hello world. 
encrypt data so it has encrypted this data from me uh, for me and uh, now you can store this data to your database or text file or wherever you want so for validation purposes I am going to take another text box and uh, will assign this value text box 1 the new one text box is text box 1 if you see its property is text box 1 dot text is equal to going to copy this code and I have pasted this code here so now it's time to decrypt our data I clicked uh, generated the event for click event for second button that is decrypt button and going to copy the code for decryption I will also give this code in that comments below uh, down below in the description down below and you can copy this code from there so here we will pass this string to our second decrypt function decrypt and uh, we will store its output into our decrypt data text box ok let's run the project data decrypt data so it is giving us the uh, output let's do it it another a better way in a better way we'll pass dot text dot to string now run hello world encrypt data and this is our encrypted data and, and we are going to pass this data to decrypt function and see the result. decrypted data is the same here there is one thing to remember that the encryption key in both functions should be the same it should be the same so you have seen that we have encrypted and decrypted our data easily in C sharp thank you so much for watching subscribe my channel and you have if you have any questions and comments write them down then in comments below or mail me at abbas.thecrate at 5 at gmail.com thank you so much